Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ventus, and I'm here with the final episode of this week of Fire Emblem Heroes Arena. So this is it. We're about to say goodbye to Robin's team, and tomorrow will be the Ursula team. So let's do this. Kane. Hmm. Merrick should be no problem. Double attack Merrick. Yes. 32 speed. Oh, cool. 27. So double attack even without darting blow. 34 damage. That's a somewhat low level Merrick. 34 minus what 18. Now? 34 minus 7? 27 minus 18 is 9. 9 damage taken. Okay. Upgraded Lissa? Okay. Lynn and Kane. Tier 5 Kane. Pretty painful. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think. Actually, hold on a second. 22 resistance. On it. 33, 49. 49 attack. Oh, actually, hold on a second. How is, how is effective damage calculated again? In terms of uh, weapon triangle? It's. It's. 33 minus 6, 27 times 1.5, I think. And that's 40 damage. 40 minus 22 is 18, so I only deal 18 damage to him. Which means I need a secondary attack. Most likely going to be Gordon. You got it. Hmm. Unfortunately, Tharja isn't buffed. I just realized this should be Robin, Jagan, Tharja, Gordon. It took me a week to realize this, huh? Because then, in maps like these, when they're just straight lines, Tharja gets the buff from Jagan immediately. Uh, Gordon doesn't really need it, huh? Okay. 10 damage. Animations are off. I've been awake for a long time. Actually, no, it's not, it's not true. I've been... Right. 18 damage. Did I say 18? Yeah, 18. Uh, I had to wake up early today because of the Michaelis Grand Battle. That video is on YouTube, you can check it out. Uh, let's see, so what do I do now? I think I just leave Lissa alone. Lissa doesn't, oh, doesn't really do anything. Lynn has a lot of speed, it seems. This is a... Is this a plus speed Lynn? Her attack might be low. That's quite a lot of speed, and she has Gale Force. I'm just gonna avoid Kane if I can. One, two... Three, attack, attack. So I need to move Robin away. Robin's just not going to do anything this turn, I think. All right. Oh, can Gordon survive? Oh, wait, I could just stand here and here. That works, too. I do want to test this out, though. Let's see. 38 minus 30 is 8 times 4 is 32. Gordon survives Kane's attack, if I'm not mistaken. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. What now? If I screw up, then I screw up, whatever. It's okay. It's fun this way. Pretty sure that's it. 38 minus 30. Yeah, 38 minus 30. 8 times 4, 32 damage. Yes. Should be correct, if I'm not mistaken. The Michaelis battle is actually not that difficult. On it. The Ursula one, the Ursula battle was, yeah, yes, a lot more difficult for me. It might have just, just been because of my team. That could be the reason. Holy crap, that's a lot of hits. Ouch. But it's okay. I'm fine with lots of hits. Larger attacks, double kill. Laugh. Yes! What a beautiful laugh. Jagan attacks, does like no damage, because this actually has defense apparently. That's actually impressive. This is a plus attack Jagan. So that's actually pretty decent defense. You got it. Gordon attacks and destroys. Can you do any okay. damage? No, you don't. Right. It's okay. Robin was standing on the left side to lure the red units there. That was the objective. Easy. So for the Ursula team, I'm thinking about using skill inheritance. Should I? I mean, right now, the way Arena works is that it's still base stats. 
stat totals. Uh, I think in the future it's going to be more based on skill inheritance and, and stuff like that. So maybe then it's going to be more balanced if I don't have any skills, because everyone else I face will probably not have those skills as well. But right now, let's say you're against a garbage team with low stats, but they have inherited skills, then you're still going to be at a huge disadvantage. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going to apply the patch, but hopefully soon so we can actually figure something out. I actually think Corrin might be interesting. Oh my god. Plus Corrin? Plus Tiki? Why would you plus this Tiki? It's disgusting. Oh my god, it's a plus two Tiki? What the hell? This is the first plus two I've ever seen, and it's on garbage Tiki. Nice. Okay, so how do I do this? Uh, I hate this map. I always say this. I hate this map. Camilla is going to go for Jagan. So let's do it like this. Hmm. Right. Oh joy. Pretty sure this will work out. Camilla's gonna go down. I can't actually reach Camilla, and Camilla kills for sure because she has Draconic Aura. Even if it's four damage, does she kill? Hold on a second. Let me figure this out. She also attacks. So thirty-two. That's a lot of damage. 32 minus 15 is 17. Divided by 2 is 9. 8? 8, 9? Eight, Let's just say is 9. Times 2 is 18 damage. Sakura deals 18 damage what to now? Gordon. That's not very nice. So I don't think I'm going to tank. Because even though Camilla deals 4 damage, it's 4, 4, 4. And the last attack is 30% attack, which is... 21. So 30... 21 plus... Wait, is it 21? 21 plus 34 is 55 minus 30 is 20... That's a lot of damage. Is it really that much damage? Is it 21 or is it... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not right. It's not 21. I'm crazy. It's 9. Or, or it's... It's 9 or it's uh, 10. Let's say it's 10. So it's 4, 4, 4, 12 plus 10, 22. 22 minus 18. That's exact lethal. So Gordon just has. Gordon just dies. Exact lethal. Because he has 40 All HP. Right. Damn it. It would have been cool if I actually worked that out properly. So you go here. Where's Jagan gonna go? Jagan's gonna go yeah. here. I think that's actually okay. Jagan goes there. Camilla moves there. No, Camilla's gonna move there, so. She dies next turn no matter what. what I don't now? think female Corrin does anything. I mean, uh, Robin. Damn it. Main characters. She actually, she, she actually moved there. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have moved Jagan all the way there. Yes. This is the alternative, though. If I attack like this, Tiki attacks. 45 attack. It's not going to be 45 next turn. Because she doesn't get a buff from Corrin. It's going to be 41 attack. 41 oh, joy. minus 21 is 20. 20 damage against Tharja. If she attacks, 32 what now? minus 21 is 11 divided by 2 is 5. 5 plus 20 is 25. Tharja lives with 11 HP, that makes Vengeance stronger. I think this is what I do yes. then. Seems like a risky attack, but it's actually... Pretty sure it's actually not risky. Now, there is a second alternative that is risky. A second potential. This piece of garbage moves back, and this thingy moves up. 35 times 1.42. 42 minus 21 is 21 damage. It's, there's no difference, is there? Yeah, there's no difference. Okay. You got it. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna okay. actually hit like this. Gordon doesn't do any damage. Oh my god. Gordon is the useless one. Corrin is really tanky. I guess Corrin and Tiki are both really, really tanky. So that's why. What now? I'll put Sakura on the left side, I guess. If I move here with Gordon, Sakura will be on the left for sure. 
And I guess that should be it. If I calculate it correctly, this should be... Let's see. So Sakura moved back. I think Korin is actually going to move left and try and attack... Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. But I can't kill because she got healed by Physic. What is what is her damage? Double attack? No double. No speed bonus. She does reduce my resist though by five. Okay. Which is also my weak stat. Fifteen. Thirty-five minus seven is twenty-eight minus fifteen is thirteen. So she deals thirteen damage to Corn. Robin, damn it. If I attack her, no double, right? 27, 31. No double, so she right. doesn't get Draconic Aura and kill me next turn, so this is fine if I attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I'll attack oh, like joy. this. Oh, wait, she has range counter. Oh, crap. I just remembered that. Yes. Oh, crap. All right. That's not good. Five damage. Nineteen, eighteen damage. You're gonna attack here. She's probably gonna drop down and heal her. Twenty-two speed, Your twenty-four servant. speed, no double. High resistance. Right, what Jagan now? is a tiki counter. So this is actually what I do. Do I attack? No, I don't attack. Mm. If I attack, then... Fury deals extra damage to me. I'm too lazy to calculate, actually, the uh, damage values over time, over multiple turns. This actually debuffs Gordon and uh, Darja as well, but it should be fine. Yeah, Jagan is a Tiki counter. It's pretty awesome. Never thought I would say that. Okay, Tharja has 37 attack. 37 minus 7 is 30. 16 resistance, 14 damage taken, double attack. 14 oh, times joy. 2 is 24, so I could actually kill. What now? Yes. Wait, what? Oh, right! I, I also got speed debuffed, so I don't actually double. Okay. Okay. Fine, I'll just do it this way. I'll have to hit Tiki with an Ignis then. I was gonna hit her with a Vengeance. Avengers would have killed, but I think Ignis also kills. Robin has 27 defense. 27 defense is... 23 damage? 22 damage with Ignis? So that should be a kill. What now? We'll move, uh... Darja over there. I mean, she's gonna end up dying to Jagan anyway. Plus two tier 4 Tiki though, interesting. Very interesting. I want to see that Ignis damage though. On it. It should be like eight plus twenty-two, thirty damage. As I predicted. Twenty-eight damage. Okay. Eh, not really as I predicted. That's actually a false statement. Oh joy, you got it. Also, she didn't tip the scales. Come on, Robin, step it up. Tip the scales. Sakura has in view, so she won't survive with Miracle. Either way, she's dead. Yes. Oh god, Tharja. Painful. Tharja was actually one of the key units, if not like the most key unit to winning. The uh, Michaela's battle. Actually, I would argue that... You're already dead. Barst might have been the key unit to winning. Without Barst, I don't think anyone would have gotten anywhere. I never thought I would say that. But then again, Barst is technically a pretty good unit, even in Shadow Dragon. He's actually really strong. Unlike these two. Alright, last battle of the season. At least, last recorded battle. And it's Takumi! Yay! We love Takumi. Oh, it's talking with Poison Strike? 
and harsh command? What? The hell is that? I see. Interesting. Very interesting, Takumi. Very interesting. So you go one, two, three, attack. Takumi goes one, attack. So the only character in range is Cecilia. Cecilia versus Corin. Okay. Robin. Damn it, why do I keep calling her Corin? Cecilia versus Robin. 42 minus right. 23 is 19 damage. Darja could also buff her for an additional oh, 3 joy. damage. So it's 16 damage taken from her. No double attack. Okay. 49 minus 27 is 22. On it. No double attack. God damn it, they're so slow. 22 damage, so it's a two hit kill. Shauna doesn't. Nobody has emergency. I mean, uh. What is it? Wings of Mercy. I guess I'll just do that. If Tharja stands. Oh, Tharja actually won't be in range. Ooh, that doesn't work then. Because I need to kill Takumi. How's this gonna work? Henry versus... Holy crap, this is a bad Henry. He's got nice tanky stats, but his attack is so bad. This is like my Odin. Oh my god. Okay, 26 oh, minus 18 joy. is 8 damage. 8 times 1. Ah, oh, damn it, I should have repositioned. It doesn't work. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I do want Cecilia to get chunked, so I think I just will right. do this for now. Yes. What now? Your servant. There's a chance she goes this way. No, actually, no, no, no. Never mind, because it's birthright AI. Huh. Huh. Oh, I think I just killed Robin. Because I can't take a second hit. I thought I could take a second hit. No, 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 wait. I can take a second hit. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Because I lose Jagan's buff. Oh, no! I have defined resistance. Never mind. Easy. On it. Easy. Easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if she'll attack Jagan. I wonder. All right. Gordon kill Oshana, free kill. Takumi's a, a scary unit. Yeah, right. so 25 resistance means I take 5 less damage. So instead of taking 19 damage, it's 14 damage. It's pretty good. Oh joy. Oh joy. So I can actually kill Takumi. I think I kill Takumi regardless, because his resist is garbage. On it. Do I put Jagan in range? If I put Jagan in range, she's gonna attack Jagan for a free hit. I don't want that to happen. I want her dead this turn, so I just don't attack. Or I don't get in range with Jagan. 17 damage. Holy crap, 1 HP? Right, it's 17 damage because it's only plus 2 resistance, instead of plus... Because his plus 3 is gone, and I gained plus 5, so that's just... Yeah, it's just uh, plus 2. Holy crap. Not even close, okay. I guess? What now? Oh, what the? I don't actually kill. Huh. You got it. Okay, then we'll do it this way. Gordon takes a double attack and then survives. Takumi is gonna be here still. No, Takumi is gonna be there. On it. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. Gordon can tank it, no problem. It's 16, 16, 32. Oh, it's 19, 19. Okay, either way, there's no way Takumi can kill 
Gordon. Why is it 1919? Oh, he's plus attack. I thought it was 46. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense then. What now? I could kill like that. Or I could kill by tipping the scales. The last match, Robin tips the scales. Bet you didn't see that coming. Damn it. Never mind. I didn't see that coming. Ah, <sighs> why don't you ever tip the scales? Alright. So that's Arena for this week. I'm done with this team. Next week I'll be using Ursula as well as some other heroes. Possibly some other bonus ones, we'll see. I still haven't decided. Oh, I say next week, but I meant tomorrow. Uh, I still haven't decided on the exact team. I have an idea, but we'll have to see tomorrow. But until then, check out the Michaelis Grand Battle, Grand Hero Battle. Uh, I did the early version. I had an hour to do it. Finish that. The actual release date for those maps is on the 24th of March. So once that comes out, you can probably get your own Tier 4 Michaelis on Lunatic. But yeah, that's it for today. That's it for this week. I'll see you tomorrow for more Arena. Thanks for watching.